Well, welcome, good evening, wonderful guys, all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is part 55 of Let's Play the Binding of Isaac Repentance, Ultra Impossible from Scratch Challenge. Now, if you're not familiar with this challenge, check part zero for the rules. That being said, I am breaking the rules. We are foregoing rolling the D4 because I've decided something. I want to play with the Jacob and Esau character. Also, I want to double check OBS, even though I was just looking at it a second ago. It is working. Audio, this is okay. Uh, uh, yep, okay. Great. Anyway, normally I would roll D4 to decide. Like I said, part zero, I go over all that. But I want to play as Jacob and Esau, even though I haven't unlocked Forgotten. That'll probably never happen because uh, they nerfed uh, the host hat. And. Pyromaniac, so that makes getting that a whole lot harder. Let alone the, the redesign of the game. Well, this is an amazing DLC for a game. That is almost a whole new game in its own right. But we are breaking the rules of our Ultra Possible Challenge. We're still going to play on hard mode. But, and I'm still going to be using random characters. But I decided I want to play with Jacob and Esau as characters. So here's what we're going to do for now. Even though I haven't unlocked the Keeper, the Lost, or the Forgotten. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with your normal run on hard mode with random characters. With the goal being to beat these alternate floors that I tried for the very first time on the last episode. So, we are going to try to push that. And for whatever reason, I can't get the all floors and we'll go for whatever the character has left to do. But we are going to get past that black sun that fucking stopped us down last time because I can't throw those damn bombs because I've never used... I don't think I've used that, you know, bomb disposal, like, uh, dispensary before. So, we're going to figure that out. Hopefully this... Hopefully we'll beat that witness boss, or the mother boss, however you want to say, because we're just going to vault for kind of stuff based off of the anti burn You know, it's a sort of fan mod thing. Which is kind of funny, because I didn't really know that was going to be what was going to happen. You know, when I heard about there being a new path to this game. I originally like, okay, there's a green mode, there's going to be a lost mode or something. So, yeah. So, we're going to try the alternate floors. Until we manage to beat it, which will unlock Jacob and Esau, which is probably the hardest of any of the normal characters to ever use. And I say normal characters because for anyone who is not familiar with it, tainted characters are a thing. What you do by beating the game, the beast, and get an alternate version of a character that's a whole, like the whole gimmick is turned on its, turned on its side. So, our goal is to beat the alternate floors one time to unlock Jacob and Esau, who are arguably the hardest character I could choose to use. After all, Ultra Impossible is supposed to make this a hard DLC where I'm doing everything from scratch, had nothing unlocked once repentance dropped, and did it from 0% onward. But going beyond that is the amazing thing of Jacob and Esau! Controlling two characters at once, because that's totally something I'm going to have any kind of skill with. But, our goal is to beat the witness, which we have not even gotten to see because the freaking Black Sun killed us. But, once we get past the Super Mario Brothers boss, because I know that Sun was angry from Super Mario Brothers 3, but... Once we get past the witness, or however you want to call that boss, the mother fight, whatever, it'll unlock Jacob and Esau. So what our goal is then, is we are going to force be playing on hard, but the goal is, since Jacob and Esau is a new character, my goal will be to ignore everything else and try to get every completion mark with Jacob and Esau, before, so I will actually not be doing random anymore, I'll still be doing hard, but I'll be using Jacob and Esau every run. With the goal being to get every completion mark with Jacob and Esau before I go back to any other character. Then once I've done that, I will of course have the tainted version, you know, the tainted Jacob. And I will try to get every completion mark with that tainted Jacob character. And then, you know, since we're at the 
you know, idea of doing the newer characters. We have to use the other new character we got in this DLC. So, after that, what I'm going to try to do is then get every completion mark for Bethany. And then after that, I'll have the Tainted Bethany character. So then I will try to get every completion moink, moink, mark for Tainted Bethany. Once I accomplish that, I will go back to doing my Ultra Impossible from scratch challenge rules, where I roll the d4 and go from there. And if for whatever reason, after all that, if I manage to get Jacob and Esau or Bethany again, well, I will still play that game. And I will still try to win, even if there is nothing to unlock. I will still try to win. Even if there is no unlock to be done. But yeah, we are going to beat the altered floors, then we're going to get Jacob and Esau and do every completion mark on hard for them, then Tain and Jacob every completion mark on hard, then Bethany every completion mark on hard, and then Tain and Bethany every completion mark on hard, before we go back to our initial rule set. Because these are the two new characters are repentance, and you know what? I want to use them. Even though they are... Particularly the Jacob ones, especially the Tainted one, but Jacob is all just for both. And it's just Advent McMillan was just trying to make the hardest thing possible that he could do with this game. I mean, what else could we have had? A Goku type character that looks like a Super Saiyan Blue Isaac that has max shot speed, max luck, and max everything speed get go, but you can never lower his speed. And he moves as if it's air walk at all times, but all enemies are doubled. You know, that would that'd be a very hard concept to play the game. But of course, like I said, we're still going to be playing on hard, and we're still going to be doing random when we're trying to unlock this character. Lost, regardless of how good of a run I'm having, if I ever get that missing poster, and I have a sacrifice room available, I will sacrifice... No matter how good of a run I am, even if I have Sacred Heart, Magic Mush, and all the best amazing things and combinations I get to where it is broken and I can beat anything with a zero chance of losing, if I get that missing poster, I will sacrifice that run to unlock the Lost. Now, beyond that, of course, unlocking the Keeper will be whenever I manage to get enough things, like to max out the Greed Machine. But of course, We've beaten Ultra Greedier once. And the rule I set for that was once we managed to beat, to unlock Ultra Greedier. Every because it's a lot easier to put more in the Greed Machine than this one. So once I have this unlocked, we're doing Greedier every time, which will make getting the keeper all the much harder. And yes, I'm breaking the rules to try to unlock Jacob, but you know what? At the end of the day, this is gonna make it harder than it would have been normally! Because otherwise, I could have just kept on my merry way doing random with these other characters, just trying to go for the chess and the easier stuff. Instead, we're going the alternate path, where I am just going to fail non-stop, and I will probably never unlock Jacob, and it will just be this for the rest of time. But then once I unlock Jacob, you know, Jacob Esau, that's a hard character, because I have to control two people, and the division of the items is nothing but a handicap, and it is no way a boon to us. And then tainted Jacob, because like I said, we're going to get every completion mark for Jacob Esau before we play anything else. And that, that we're going to taint to Jacob, which is even worse and harder. And after that, we're going to go to Bethany, which is it's okay, but it's a bit of a gimmick to her. She but she could be very interesting, and it's a very unique premise that could be a lot of fun. But we're going to get every premise, every completion mark for her. And then we're going to tainted Bethany. And that, that could, depending on her luck, either be really good or really bad. But we're going to have both. Hopefully more of the good than the bad. Anyway, we have to, un we have to beat the witness or the mother, however you want to say that, Mike, by doing the alternate floors that are based off the anti-birth D fan mod, whatever, that exists like, what, four years ago or something, that had been incorporated to this game. But I'll say this, getting every completion mark for Jacob Esau. Ah, oh, if only I could just keep ran. I know on my PS4 version of Afterbirth Plus, which I have not played in I don't even know how long at this point. 
my main goal with that was I just unlocked the items that made me as overpowered as possible. Had Jera be the only room that existed. So I thought I got a room like five rooms. It was all Jera. To where I could use all of it plus the tarot blob to just get hundreds of chests on the chest. And have, like, there were so many times I made the game crash on my PS4. Granted, it's just a base PS4, but it's a PS4. It should be able to handle things. But then again, a couple parts ago, we had our very first crash on this computer for our Steam. Which, of course, at least thankfully it saves progress and I was able to reload that floor. But that was still a nice milestone. That way you could actually overload the program where it couldn't handle like what I was doing. Trisagian, of course, is the thing that broke it. Anyway. It should be some interesting. But like I said, PS4, the main thing I did is I just I just did everything I could to get the like the sides from my super fan, uh, Tech Zero, all the Jeras, and then just have Isaac with the D6, which I haven't even unlocked the D6 for. But that was like one of the very first things I prioritized on the PS4 version. So that I could have just Isaac the D6 and I would play on normal and I would just play the game so I could curb stomp everything with the least amount of challenge possible. This is just the opposite of that. This is just, this is the game where all of you watched me fail because I'm terrible at this game. You want to see someone good at this game? Go watch Tear of Grace. Brett. Brett is an amazing player of this, and he's very entertaining. Fuck. Now, it seems like most of this stuff he does on Twitch, which I'm never going to... I don't really know how this really works for my character, but okay. I need to save keys. It takes extra resources to get to the alt floors, but I think you're not required to do it on the very first floor, so if I need to, maybe there's a way I can game the system. Uh, PhD would be good. Uh, and honestly, the evil PhD... Can I get both PhDs? Is that a thing I can do? Does that even do anything in this situation? I don't think it did. Interesting. Um, I technically could try for boss rush, but honestly, with me trying... Ah! Me trying to ult for it since it's probably gonna mainly be. Um, this should be the secret room. Damn it! Well, before I waste this other box, I do need to stockpile box to get into the mines. Probably here, but I'll get some money out to do it. And of course, I'm saving maxing out the donation machine for Blue Baby's chest slash delirium. Run. What would happen if I had the Eagle PhD and the normal PhD? Does that work well together? Would it be overpowered or just just like like I don't know if that's a good combination or if that'd be a terrible idea. I have a room. Okay, that could be useful. Okay, I have my keys. Let's go fight the boss. Gurglings! This is terrible. Honestly, it's a good time to use this. Otherwise, I'm going to lose a lot of HP. I think I can still get to this floor on the next one, so let's save it. That's awful. This is... interesting. Three Ace of Clubs, you say. Well, that's... 
very weird. Okay, my best bet right now would be to go here. Go here. Damn it! I was hoping for the, um... Okay, I can't use this or else it would kill my character. But what I can do... Is I can come here... And drop it. Use Ace of Clubs. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed how that worked out, but... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some bombs here. Okay, I'm definitely gonna pick up this trinket. And... Let's see, my next set... This is probably the next thing. No? Okay. Like I said, I think I'm going to try to go to Adam. Because here's the thing. The normal PhD will heal you a little bit and make all pills good. Now, evil PhD will make all pills hurt you, but it'll give you an immediate damage up, it'll give you a black heart, and it'll make any bad pill that you take increase your damage. Okay. Well. Range down, but a damage of 1.64. Another range down, but look at that damage. A tears down, but look at that damage. Four. That's an explosive. Another tears down, and look at that. Holy shit. Now, Horth, I think I could use as an explosive that I should use. Maybe not the best use of that. It's kind of open to destroy a few pots of that. But look at our damage. And if for whatever reason, if I can't take this run, like I screw something up and I don't get this run to the Ultra Course, at least I should be able to take on the Cathedral, the Chest, the Delirium. And I still want to try to prioritize the alternate force. Uh, a normal secret room honestly might be... probably here? Odd spot for it. Okay, well, I want to use a bomb to blow him up right now. My better bet would be to use the bomb here. By the way, what's this do in this situation? I got a health up, which does work, and I still get a damage up! Oh yes! So I get the best pills, and I get good, so guys, I get good pills and damage up. Look at that damage. We are gonna go far. 
As long as we have the health to handle that black sun that chases me, we should be able to do okay. Now maybe we'll get a magic mush out of this. No, but we got a decent amount of money. More than I expected to get out of that. Now, two bombs. You know what? Let's try this. We only got one cent. Um, we'll go with what we have. But yeah, we have PhD and Evil PhD. Which honestly, because like I said, the normal PhD gives you all good pills, and Evil PhD would normally make the pills bad because you get damage up. Having these things together means I get all good pills and damage ups. It's only a downside that I didn't actually, you know, use this thing before getting those pills upstairs. Or, you know, up there. But, the range doesn't matter at all with Zazel. So his range is the same no matter what. So, that actually helps us out quite a lot. And with the Swallowed Penny, should now I could go in here right now, but... I think I can try the next floor real quick and still get this. I think it still works that way. As long as I get this on one of the basement floors. If it doesn't work out, if I am... If I am doing this badly, then you know what? We're still going to get additional completion marks and unlocks for our Azazel. But I think I can game the system a little bit this way, more than I already am, to get extra items, because we need every bit of power. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got our... Just about everything back. 20 cents, 4 bombs, 4 keys. Interesting. An eternal heart. That is amazing. We'll take a bit of damage doing this. Now, I do not want that item, so we did lose half a black heart, but that's fine. With our good PhD and knowing health ups are in the rotation. Now, the tears down did hurt us slightly, but we know that the tears up now. Okay. Speed and range did get improved, even though the range doesn't really matter. The main thing that really mattered was the tears down that we got. Now, oh gosh! Fuck, fuck, fuck! That was a little bit concerning, guys! Okay, we got a key. We're doing good on resources. Now, the shop is actually very viable. That is a good payout for that. With our PhDs, this is amazing. Okay, we have our luck down, but... Okay, it's still luck down, but we got damage. Health up. Puberty. Not sure if that gave us more damage or not. Vested. Vested. Okay, all in all, we came out really good there. The compass would actually be a really good investment in what we're trying to do. We'll use one more bomb. We are getting really good payouts for that. And our damage is looking phenomenal. And keep in mind, there's always a chance for a planetarium. If we get one of those, that would be a huge boon for us. We are going to try Angel Deals. Wow, I'll be honest. 
a Devil Deal is tempting. The biggest problem, however, is that Black Sun is quite dangerous. But our high damage is making a big difference for us. Okay, our lowest stat was apparently our tears. So we got a bomb, we got a spirit heart. We are keeping our health because that was the biggest thing that killed us. Aside from me freaking out and not understanding how to throw that bomb mechanic. Now either one of these could be the top secret. I'm going to bank on it being here. Yes. A black heart. That helps us out tremendously. Now looking at the floor, our normal secret room is more than likely right here. Okay, that's very good. Let's see if I can blow both of these at the same time. I did. I released spiders. I don't like that. Yes, they're not very strong, but the likelihood of me taking damage from something like that is much higher than, well, than if I actually had skill at video games. <laughs> now, we'll look around. The only thing left is this room. I'm pretty sure this is that boss battle room, so they're not going to let me in there. Let's grab our eternal heart. The compass, the pill bag, and the other syringe is huge. And having health ups in the rotation, both PhDs, and this eternal heart. Oh, we're getting a tarot card. Stars! That is tremendously useful! Not only does that save us another key, but that gets us into our... Now, we should be set to actually get some angel deals. A 33.8% chance. Not the best thing I would like to say. Can we get a couple cents? I don't like this item, so... I hate this item. But it did give us a very tiny, marginal, barely noticeable tears up. But I'd rather have it than the fucking little monstro. Still disappointing! And at least because I have the compass, if there is a planetarium, I should know. So let's go... Our damn it. I'm not sure what hurt me. But at least the black hearts assisted me. Okay. Now, right now, our highest priority needs to be... FUCKING! I CAN'T SEE THAT ENEMY! It is too small, and it blends in with the background! Okay. If there is a blood bank anywhere, it is getting used. But, this thing should melt because of our damage. But like I said, our highest priority right now is to get Angel Bucks. Angel deals. Highest priority. This guy's got some armor. Got about an uh, eye. Fuck! I misused my tiny brimstone! Fucking! I forget, he's fucking. I'm going to hide underground! Because I'm a fucking asshole! Why do I have to fight a fucking Graboid? From the fucking Tremors movie! Now, I don't remember how many chances I get to... But this is awesome. It gives us spun and a damage up and everything's amazing. A luck down, but more damage. Now, I'm not... like I know I can get by with ignoring that first key room, but I'm not sure if, how, like... How much I can, like, if I could just go to the next normal floor from here, and then still go back to mines. So, I, I'm not sure how that really works. Now, I still need to get my key piece.
Nice. Don't know how to feel about the- Ah! I know how to feel now. Angry. I feel angry about that enemy type. Oh, so we didn't get an angel. We didn't get anything. We had a 33% chance of getting an angel deal. And that did not come to fruition. So that is um, less than ideal. Okay, there's that mirror. We have enough money to make the shop viable. Okay, we got a pill. Hematemesis. Let's check out our shop first. We don't have a bomb. Uh, chaos is... I'm not sure. We do have an interesting card down there, but I don't know which it is. I am intrigued by it. Damn. Got lower damage for some reason, but I have no idea why. Uh, maybe we'll get a steam sale. And these spiders. Chaos! I. I feel that's too much of a risk. That's just not bad. Okay, we need to find that fire. It does feel like the character's a little faster like this. Okay. does worry me, but we're just going to go to the item room to get, um... Oh, this is terrible! This is like the worst thing you can do! I somehow managed to not get my ass kicked. No! First piece to keep these. We're gonna go back. And yes, you could get an extra item and go fight the boss. But no, I will not succeed if I do that. Now, I do have. Where would my. I don't have a bomb seat check for. Okay. 19 cents. I don't think chaos would be worth it. Yes, it could pay out really well, but it's too risky. We're going to try to get past that black sun this time. Hopefully get past the rest of these floors. Now...
Not sure if that's worth it. I need to go this way. I need to remember how these guys work. And be terrified by them! Now we can definitely use a pretty good tears up. <laughs> that, I'm not sure what it does, but I'd like to swallow a penny. That's useful. That's silly. Okay, item room. Uh, this. Glitter bombs! That's very helpful. Particularly if we want to get Pyromaniac and Bob's Curse. Okay, after, well, let's maybe we'll get the uh That did increase my angel chance, so that is good. We are going to buy this. A health down that I absolutely will not take unless they somehow get me a devil deal. But I am not going to use that. Hell to the no. Yes, I would technically get more damage. But it wouldn't be worth it. It would not be worth it to lose my heart. But if they gave me a devil beetle, then maybe I'll use it. Ow! I'm trying to go for every advantage I can get, because I know this fight is going to be hard, and I want to succeed. Well, this is terrible. Oh, yeah, and it's one of those bastards that uses the bomb things that I don't know how to do. At least I'm infinite, so my screw-ups don't fucking matter! Let me get the bomb! What is with these flies? I am busy! Can you please stop being flies? What is with all these flies? Whatever. Damage and an HP up is good. Did I get... I don't want to pick up the bomb. Are you kidding me? I had a 70-something percent chance. And you didn't give it to me. I had... Does Glitter Bomb work with this? Normally I'd be against abusing this.
it is really hard. It's like, at least this gives me a chance to try to work this out. I walk up to it, it picks it up. Okay. Pick it up. Mini much. Speed and range. The speed is the main thing. I'm going to drop this pill because it's just too much of a risk. I do want the swallow. Give me the swallow pick. I should try to get some more resources. You know, I am kind of a little on the fence about it because... What the hell? And yeah, extra keys could be useful, but honestly... I'm better without it. Okay, I know it's a mini boss, but we have good damage, and he's a fucking bastard! The move. That could actually be very useful to us, because we're trying to go to that cursor and that can get us out of there. Well, hello there. Well, that is very fortuitous, those, and a key. So that helps us a lot. This is weird. They, can I get in them? Can I ride the cart? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. How do I get out? Where's the exit? Okay, let's try to get some more resources. That was done very badly! Not sure what you do, but I don't want to find out. Oh god! What the fuck is that?! Oh, it's a bomb. I couldn't see very well because of how dark the fucking background is! Please stop being a flying bomb! I said stop being a flying bomb. I guess I never specified to stop. You know what? The likelihood of you paying out with something useful is actually high enough to actually give it a shot. You can also give me a luck up, Penny. You know you want to. I want to double check OBS. Okay, it's recording. Not the best use of my bombs, but oh well. Now, our goal here is to get a pretty fly. Because a defense orbital with this character is a must. And while yes, I want to try to get as much as I can out of the shop, I need defense orbitals. So I do need to make sure I have at least three sets for the next floor. Which I have. Ready fly! Give me one pretty fly! I have no use of these hearts. One pretty fly. Son of a bitch. Later! We are never going back there. <laughs> 
So we didn't get our pretty fly, but at least have three cents to give us a chance. Dice room. Not really in a situation to help us. So. Off to the next floor then. We didn't get anything useful out of the bomb beggar. Uh. Of course, we didn't get angel deals at all. So it should be 100% this floor as long as they don't take damage. We need to go for that angel deal before we go to, you know, try to get our knight piece. Now, item room has to come first. No matter what, we have to go this way. So let's hope they're both in the same direction. If not, how much health do you fucking have?! Okay, we're good on money, but we are... Very likely to lose our... I at least chose correctly. This is half the boss. And... One of these drop a spear at least. I fucking hell! I feel more comfortable about this. But I still have my spare heart. I hate this mode. Anti gravity! I. I hate this item. The game's like, you shouldn't be taking these familiars. Like, I don't want your fucking familiars. They're garbage. I don't care if it's a little monster or a mongo baby. I don't want them. That actually fuck! That fire attack lingers longer than I thought it would. I hate anti-gravity. Fucking stupid, I hate this. Garbage ass item. What the fuck thought you were a bomb pickup? If I had lost my angel deal chance to that, I'd be pissed. But thankfully, I did not. Now, this spirit heart is not a great use to me right now, but here's the thing. I can do this, and it increases my angel chance. I can... Buy a spear heart. Buy Diplopia. If I get a good angel deal, I could make better use of it. Let's go fight the boss, maybe get the angel chance. Interesting. Top oh, secret room. Spiders. Recruit! Fucking asshole! Fucking anti gravity. Being a bitch to fucking use. I don't have the brain capacity to use this effectively.
There! Fucking live in my lasers! If I can't use timing correctly, you can't use living correctly. Thank you. Okay. I still didn't get my angel chains. Fucking bastards. Okay. I'm getting damage up for them for some reason, I have no idea why. Okay, not an item that's worth duplicating. Do I want a Diplopia of Health? <sighs> not really? I mean, it's one health. I don't know why it increased my damage. I don't know. Maybe it's amount based on how many empty hearts I have. I don't know. So. Not sure where a normal suit is going to be. Maybe here. No. I hate anti gravity, though. It's such a fucking pain in the ass. The Plopia we will be saving. Oops. Fucking okay, anti gravity. Come on! This is so dumb! Could be worth it. Maybe we'll get a really cool. No, we didn't. Fuck you! I can't see what I'm fighting! Let's have a super black spider against a super black background. I can't see what I'm fighting! Asshole! But algas could be useful. I lost a little bit more damage and health than I wanted to. Hopefully I can use Alge's Ultra Fuck Okay. I got a key out of it. I need to go back to the shop. Probably has a secret room right here, actually. No, but I did get half a heart out. So... Yeah, I was hoping for a heart. The 
It does say that there's a full heart down in the cursor. So, not the best way to go about doing this, but here's what we're going to do. Hear me out. We're going to take half, we're going to take half a red heart of damage, get a full red heart of healing. And an extra penny. So, we at least came out ahead. Now, can we survive the Black Sun that we are about to encounter? I'm going to go with no. We're still going to fail. We're still going to fail. But my goal... Okay, at least I keep flight. And my luck is that I've actually returned quite a bit. My damage doesn't matter because I don't think I can kill the sun. So maybe I can use flight to cheat the system. Because normally, because normally, you know, flight would be something that I wouldn't really be able to use because if it's an item giving me flight, then I would lose that. But since that's a default ability of this character, this might save my ass. Okay. Hopefully that didn't screw me over doing that. Okay. Now let me out. Hopefully the flight helps go. Let me out the door. Let me out the door. I still need to hit this. I hit it earlier! I kind of want the magic mush chance, but not worth it. Oh, thank goodness for flight. I don't even care about... Where's the door? Where? Thank you, fl natural flight! Oh my god, I'm so happy I don't have to fuck with those bombs! Fuck you, son! Yes! Fuck you, Black Sun! Stay in Super Mario Bros. 3 where you belong! And get your cast kicked by a fucking plumber! On a side note, if any of you out there actually is a plumber, you know, there's nothing wrong with that profession. And if you are a plumber, let me know. I built Terminators for Skynet. Not literally, but I, that's why I feel like I do it in my factory. And now I have a random knife to throw at everything. Um. Yep. I didn't even have to use the out. Just I'm like, so I'm not sure. How much defense that would have given me against the giant angry scree- No! I... I don't know if I can get to... The... I... I... I think I may have screwed myself. I don't... I... Can I still get to the floor that I want to go into? Will they even let me do that? Is that? I mean, I have the knife. Can I still go into the stabby? Can I even still fight the boss that I want to fight? Is that a thing I can still do? Or did I completely screw myself by not going through that one door? Did I screw myself? I hope I didn't screw myself. But I feel very strongly that I screwed myself. Okay, this is very useful for us, and I don't think Evo Bill would have been very useful on it. So... I... If 
But yeah, I'm not sure if I completely screwed myself or not. I think I have. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get our chance to go on that one thing, but if I did screw myself, well, fuck. But like, hey, you had a chance to go to that boss, and you might have been able to beat it with this bill. But no, you're dumb. I feel worse about doing that than the time I had the Polaroid, and I accidentally went to show, which I think I did with a Zazel. So this character may be slightly cursed when it comes to that. Give me an item. Or not. Get yeah, so. Okay. I'll. I accept the way that worked out right there. I fucking hate you, son of a bitch. Um. <sighs> Neither of you is a little worried about that. How are you still alive? Okay. Ah! Fucking hell! I can't see a fucking black ball on a black background! How do you expect me to see? It blends in! I can't see it! I don't have vision problems! It's not like I need eyeglasses! Why can't I see your fucking shit? You're like, oh no! I am tempted to use the Plopia on the fucking... But here's the thing, if I use the bomb first, not only will it duplicate any money that comes out of the donation machine or the little dude here, but if it actually gives me a fucking steam sale, it'll duplicate that as well. Let's go to the corner. Be annoyed by that. Use Diplopia. Use puberty. I will buy the buddy in the box. I'll get the other one. I have two burps. I will use one. So I get the adult transformation. Save the spirit heart. A temperance. Temperance. I have swallowed Penny. Fucking coin! You son of a bitch! Oh, right. There was this. I didn't even... Okay. Let's do that. The watch would be useful. Let's leave. Come back. It didn't appear to duplicate anything that currently existed. That's fine. The blood bag will be very useful. I will save it. I will use this heart now. This bomb. Pick up these keys. Okay, that's useful. Swallow Penny is also coming in handy. And so is this humbling bundle.
a luck down, but damage up. Potato peeler. I am. Um, I am on the fence about that. Oh. I need one additional orbital and the extra firepower. But beyond that, I am unsure of the viable of fucking tea. Give me back this. Give me this back. I'm gonna take damage. I want to make full fucking use out of it. I hate anti-gravity. Fucking garbage. Telescope lens could be useful. I'll have to take it to another floor to get the best use out of it. God! Fucking... Fucking bastards. At least I don't lose fucking... I'll have to pick that up. Whatever. Okay. Death card? Not ideally what I wanted, but it will assist me. Okay. I have pretty flies. You know what? Fine, I'll use it because you're about to do damage to me, and I don't want to get damage to that. Not that it would have mattered, but I guess I was antsy. There are so many locations that the normal secret room could be. How about here? No, but I got. Yeah. Really? I would have not have guessed that. I would have kept moving my way right. I would not have guessed that. Damn it, I did not charge up because I didn't expect to fucking see you. No one wants to ever see you, son of a bitch. Okay. Top seat rooms down there. Weird. But very interesting. I still hope I can get to the rest of the alternate floors. I didn't mean to jump down here, but I may have fucked myself. And if that's the case, son of a bitch! This is a good, viable run. Why? There should be like a thing where I jump a hole like, do you really want to go to this orbit? Oh shit, no! I jumped in the wrong fucking hole! Ugh! Son of a bitch! Okay, I got a key. And... Okay. Maybe another blood bag? No.
Okay, we are going to be able to make some good use out of that stock refresh. But first things first, let's go fight this other room. Okay. Right, I have a blood bag. I forgot that existed. Well, let's grab this. I'm not gonna lose a spear heart where I'm at, so let's do this. Given the way this stuff can build up, yes. Yes! Blue candle. There are no hearts just sitting around. I do have a blood bath. Lucky Penny! Thank you! The humbling bundle is definitely coming in fucking clutch! And like I said, looking at our post note here, if for whatever reason, if I can't get my run to the fucking witness slash mother fight, fucking hell! This would have been a surefire way to unlock Jacob, and I fucked it up! But you know what? I can still do a cathedral, I can still do a chest run, maybe delirium if they let me get there. Maybe if they give me a mama may, I could do a boss rush of some kind. More importantly, but it's just. Let's see where we go with this. Okay, now we use the blood bag. Which healed us fully and gave us a whole extra heart and a spear. Now, now a range up, not the best thing, but. You know, could come in handy. Now, a speed down, I do not like. But I will pop one of them for the damage. But I don't want it to be the item I duplicate. Now, x lax Didn't really give me much anything. Now, this is another fourth pill, but... Or, burp pill. That's fine, I'm gonna... 26. But, pick up the other pill. Pick, pick this up. Can I not? Uh, I don't have enough money. I was like, why am I not picking it up? Yeah, I was like, what, what's going on, guys? Yeah, my character is too poor. Puberty. Son of a bitch. Fucking hell. I am just trying to get a pill that is of good use for two burps. Potato peeler. Uh, I don't know. Do I have any coins down here? No. Do you have a key beggar that could be beneficial to me? But I'm on the fence about that one. Okay. These pills are getting a bit expensive. Bested? Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this over here because I'm tired of trying to struggle. Right. Go 
have the money. I am spent. I don't think I've ever spent. And the whole thing that money now gets increased for a stock refresh is fucking bullshit. Oh my god. You are making me fucking fully invest this. It better be fucking worth it. This butter fucking pay out the way I want it to. Like this is this this is not good game strats, guys. This is not a good game strategy. I'm just fucking stubborn. But this is a terrible strategy. Do not do this strategy. It is dumb. The current strategy that I am employing is extremely stupid. Oh, it's still burning my fucking soul hearts. Yep, it is. Well, I hope that was worth it. Okay, 60 cents. A range up. I am quite annoyed with the way that worked out. Sense. Right. I. I don't even know what the thing I saw behind there was. I'm okay with spending this many bombs breaking this shit. I feel very annoyed at having to do this, but I don't really have a choice anymore. And now... Oh my gosh. I think it's this. 71 cents for a fucking... So dumb. Okay, seventy one cents. I don't think this idea is viable. So here's what we're going to do we're going to spend three cents to get this. Six cents on this. So that's nine cents we spent for this. Nine cents, mind you, in order to accomplish this. Keep in mind we have three cents, and we have to at least have more than 12 cents for this to be worth it. So we're up to 45. The thing is this, I don't want to use three burps on a fucking range up. Because that's what it's going to be. And I can't remember what this is, but I'm willing to try this. Very risky thing. Now, 6-6. Six, six. And 11-6. So I have to at least get 
17 cents out of this to make it worth it, so. I would have to have greater than 45 cents. So this has to get me higher than 45 cents, which it did. So it did at least balance out. We have enough money to try this pill that I don't remember what it is. Health up, health up, health, tears up. I, while annoyed at this, tears up is a thing we need. Tears up. And while it's not a massive thing, tears up. we did need the tears up. Tears up. Okay, so all in all, that did eventually work out to give us a lot more tears up. Now, I want to try to buy some spirit hearts. But I don't have any fucking money for anything. So, obviously, I don't have the means to properly heal. So, we're going to do something insanely fucking reckless that I do not recommend, but I... And quite careless of the way I play my game, apparently. I'm kind of hoping, like, stabbing myself in the meat boys gives me money. It does. Thank you. And some hearts. Okay. I do want a super meat boy. And I do want an orbital again. And I do want that orbital to shoot. Now, I'm not sure if there's any more shops later on. And honestly, potato, but that being said, potato peeler. Like, one Super Meat Boy is enough, and I have this Meat Boy as an orbital. I'm not... I am extremely unlikely to get enough health to be willing to use that potato peeler. But this many keys... doing good on money, I'm going to be able to buy some spirit hearts. And he is dead. That's fine. We have 80 cents now. And we have a super meat boy. And we still have our meat ball. Uh, while I am unlikely to use this much more, I think I could still potentially get 13, no, that's not, even with one thing, I'm unlikely to get enough money though. Okay, I get a couple bombs, it's useful. Find these spirit hearts that are absolutely necessary. Maybe this cost of them is a bit expensive. A temperance, you say? No. To a spades, yes. The tower. I'm going to try to use it, and then get the fuck out. Damn. It did not work the way I wanted it to, but it's fine. I want to buy one more spirit. Yes, 33 cents is insane for that. But, we are desperate. I don't think we're even going to have enough money to get it regardless. Which is 
quite the disappointment. But luck was on our side. Luck was on our side. So we're able to heal by our spirit heart. We'll take this, even though I have no fucking use for it. We will save our money for the chance that we get some other use for it. I will go back for this because it greatly, greatly, greatly increases our planetarium chance. And we are going to move forward in the hopes that we get some sort of planetarium. I will keep the IV back just because I have no intention to use a CP blank. We have all things. So yeah, we just got to go with what we have. Alright, fucking. I hate that fucking hand. I swear that they fucking. The angel deal, thank you. I do not see. I'm so fucking annoyed. Well, no matter what, taking the fucking Polaroid, I would take the fucking miter, I would blow your ass up if I had any fucking bombs! Ugh. Son of a bitch. Well, I gotta speed up and some health. But I still have the annoyance that I think I fucked up. Like, we finally got past the Black Sun thanks to Azazel's flight, and I think I completely fucked us. Because that one thing that I could get to with Elder 4 isn't there. So I think I fucked us, guys. I fucking fucked us! Son of a bitch! Okay, well, no planetarium. Can you? So, I think I fucked us, guys. I completely fuckering fucked us. Which is just, it's the story of me playing anything, or life in general. Seriously, we had a good, viable way to beat the witness. We were going to unlock Jacob and Esau. It was going to go so easy! And I just completely fuck! Like, we had a viable build! We had a good build! We fucked it up! Why am I so terrible at everything I do? It's just every time, like, hey guys, we're gonna try some Isaac today. You know what we're gonna do today? Be failures! Because we had a perfectly viable way to unlock Jacob and Esau. And I fucked it up because I can't help but just jump in a random fucking hole. Why am I so fucking shitty at this game that I can't even remember to do basic 
things. That should be the easiest thing to fucking figure out. Like, hi! We're just going to demonstrate what a fucking failure I am! Fucking asshole piece of shit! Motherfucker! Why am I such a fucking failure? Nothing else, we're at least still getting a completion mark for this. Albeit, I am very annoyed. Also, I have so much fucking money that I can't use on anything. Okay, Fist, you holy shit. I, I didn't really know he could break that like that. That's cool. So we have good damage. Well, some more tears up, even though I'm not getting much effect from it. Only point. Zero six, but you know what? Every little bit helps when it comes to this. The Eternal Heart will be useful as well. Hopefully, it still gives me the chance. Thank you, Super Meat Boy. I hope I still get. Fuck you. I hope I still get the chance to go to the other alternate floor. But I probably won't because I fucking suck! I don't know why I'm this dumb, guys. Yep, I don't see the other thing. I fucked myself. I completely fuckering fucked myself. <sighs> they didn't get the angel deal. Heck, I wouldn't have shied away from the devil deal if that had been an option. <sighs> Well, if nothing else, we are getting We'd like to see where a secret room is. Probably here. How about here? So I fucking suck at everything. And here's the thing, guys. I, I'm not upset at not achieving my goal. I'm upset at how stupid I am. Like, I had it in the bag, and I fucked it up from being dumb! So I'm not angry at the video game. I'm angry at myself. I'm not... I, like, at the end of the day, I don't give a shit if I unlock a fucking character or not, or what achievement marks I do. I'm, either way, I'm still having fun playing this game. So, no matter what, that goal was achieved. I'm just upset at myself, because... At least it's an inconsequential thing that doesn't affect real life. But at the same time, it's a glaring example of my own ineptitude at life. So I'm a little annoyed at that. Well, if there's any kind of achievement... If there is any kind of achievement... 
for beating Delirium with this fucking knife that isn't even meant to go to Delirium. We're gonna get it, I guess. We would fight Mega Satan if I ever... What is... I, I don't... Why am I taking damage? Right, because I have fucking anti-gravity! Oh my god, how much health am I losing? I don't know because I can't fucking see my health. I have lost so much fucking health. These stupid bastards, because I can't fucking shoot shit because anti-gravity is fucking garbage. probably lost four fucking spirit hearts there. I am probably about to die from that one fucking room that I went down to, partly because I thought it could lead to the boss, but also because I had the chest and I was hoping there'd be something really good in it. And there was not. Survey says, fuck yourself. Pick up the coins. I know there's no fucking use to them anymore. Thank you, Spirit Rock. Fucking bullshit. Ugh. Still negative one luck. How have I not picked up 50 billion fucking lucky pennies at this point? It should be down. Why is that eye so fucking bloodshot? Why are the eyes inside this person's scarred womb fucking stoned? <sighs> fucking bullshit. Oh well, at least we're still getting a completion mark, guys. That's the important thing, right? Even though the whole point was I was wanting to unlock fucking Jacob and Esau. That was my goal. And I should have succeeded. I only failed because I'm fucking inept at fucking everything. Later, Bob. He's helping. It's not as much as I really need. Them. Spirit heart helps. That helps. I have to use the strength card in this fight so I don't fucking die. Shouldn't have had to, but I'm fucking terrible at everything. Top secret room. Top secret room. Why am I picking up the bits? Doing it anyway. But seriously, I am still upset that I fucking screwed up something so simple. Because like I said, it, like it's a video game. It's inconsequential. I'm not upset at the fucking video game. I'm upset at myself for having a simple fucking task to do and screwing it up. Ah, spiders! So I'm upset at myself. 
I don't give a shit about a fucking video game. It's a fucking game. It's inconsequential. It's not real life. I care about the fact that I did poorly in a video game because I'm stupid. That's what I fucking care about. Did I already kill like five of you fucking eyeball motherfuckers? Or we fuck up any worse. Let's double check. We have the Polaroid, so you know what that means we should do? We should go to the fucking Cathedral! You've missed that step in the show. I would fucking hate you, you stupid moron. Well... I almost ran into the fucking fire. I almost... Man. To the fucking fire. Thank you, Super Meat Boy. I'd go to fucking De Mega Set. Satan. At least we're doing pretty good on Spirit Hearts. Despite... I'm still upset that we had a viable run. A viable run on the Witness. And I fucking fucked it up. Because... Apparently I can't do something fucking simple. Oh wow, that wasn't even enough to kill. Oh. Fucking bastard! Why are you still alive? Why are you still fucking alive? No one likes you, Conquest. I don't know why I want to pick up every fucking coin when there is no fucking point. I had a good run. Oh well, at least we're still getting completion marks. We're still gonna be able to do something. I'm just annoyed at how it fucking worked out. Because it wasn't supposed to be like this. I almost dodged into it like 47 fucking times. How fucking inept at this game can you fucking be? We even had both the fucking watches! This was the run! This was the fucking run where you could have fucking beat the witness easily and you fucked it up! But I feel like, what am I fucking fighting? What am I fucking fighting?
Like I said, these were still getting fucking completion. Well, shit. Hi, Isaac. I'm still getting completion marks. It's just my goal was to beat the fucking witness, and I actually managed to get past that stupid son. Okay, at least we unlocked something. Polaroid. Let's go fight the chest. If nothing else, we're doing something as an unlock. It's just annoying as all fucking hell. That it's that I just that I'm just such a fuck up. Give me the dad's key, I will go fight Mega Satan. Hell, I would have Okay. Not that I don't already have flight anyway, but Ludovico, I am not even sure. Okay. How does that even function with anti-gravity? I think I may have gotten past the bullshit that was anti-gravity. Thank you, Ludo Biko! We are fucking full clearing. Death by fucking laser fire Cheerio. I can't even see it. That's actually more useful than what I currently have. Enjoy the fucking death Cheerio. Enjoy the death cheer, yo! Okay. I have all the fucking needles. Thank you, Ludovico! Because like I said, anti-gravity was... And you know what? That's the thing. I probably would have been completely fucked, even with the Super Meat Boy helping my ass out. Against the fucking witness. With fucking anti-gravity. I mean, keep in mind, remember that one room where I lost four fucking spirit hearts? Because anti-gravity is such a fucking bitch. So thank you, Ludovico. Would like to have two types of lasers... One, because it'd be cool with Ludovico, and two, because I would like to be able to unlock fucking Tech Zero. And it's harder to game the system for that when I can't make a thousand fucking chests! Okay? That's like, where the fuck are you? <sighs> Hopefully they let me go to Delirium with this. This would actually be a good fucking Delirium build! To the point that I'm willing to save the fucking Strength card! And like I said, if you gave me the fuck key, I go fight Megaton. I would have the normal key to fucking fight him. But no! The one time I got, like, two times I got, I didn't have bombs. So, you give me a fucking dad's key, because right now I'm not like I'm rocking a very useful fucking. I 
either way, at least I'm getting unlocked. That's that is the most important thing that we can take home from this. But let me take this fucking thing to Delirium. Delirium needs to die by the Cherry Cheerio. This has apparently got some pretty damn good damage because the evil PH. I have enough keys. I have 42 fucking Hitchhiker Guide the Galaxy keys! Fucking. You're fucking funny, aren't you? Fucking humbling bundle and contract flow. Fucking wasting themselves. Okay. Deliria. Give me the fucking void. Go fight the fucking Deliria. Look at him fucking melt. Let me take this to fucking Deliria. He will fucking die. Let me take out fucking Deliria. Of course you don't give me Delirium. You fucking cowards! You knew I kicked Delirium's ass! Fine. You know what? Here's what you're gonna do again. Here is what you are going to do. You are going to give me the dad's key item. And we are going to use the dad's key to go fight Mega Satan. And then we are gonna go to the fucking Delirium Void. From that fight! Because there'll be an arse chance of it fucking spawning! Give me the dad's key! It's not even enough to get that achievement. You gotta give me three more of them for that achievement to exist. And for as many pills I fucking bought earlier, not giving me one of those till now? There's an achievement for using five of those in one run. I, I would do so if you gave me five in a fucking run. I have fucking glitter bombs. You give me gold bombs. If you give me gold bombs, which I do have unlocked, I will fucking just abuse glitter bombs until I have enough pills to have that achievement. Even if it takes me two hours, I will fucking do it. Last room. Really? The tiny fucking shit that could. Really? Top secret room. Okay, Mr. Keys. Let me in! And I would have blown up the fucking angels to fucking do it. But you didn't give me the fucking chance to, you fucking bastards! Normal secret room. 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 I don't even care about the spirit art. I don't even fucking care about it. Normal fucking. Thank you. I. Why? Fuck you, game. If nothing else, we at least got a few unlocks. So, 
we at least got that. We at least, yeah, we used flight to get past Black Sub. I guess the game was like, no, you have to actually run away from the fucking Black Sun legitimately. You can't just fucking cheat. And I'm like, I want to, though. That makes it easier. And the game's like, no, you can't do that. Fucking hell. But hey, at least we still got some on Moth. We managed to take the Basil to the speed drill and the chest. So we just grab a nice we done Mega Ton and Delirium as well, or I don't know, did the fucking witness fight like I fucking intended. But you know, fuck you black sun. Because we're gonna have to go against him again. Because we had a surefire way to get Jacob and Esau to felt it. You know what? We still made progress and above all, I still had fun. And I hope you guys well, enjoyed watching the fail. If nothing else, maybe it's good for a laugh, and maybe it's right the day a little bit in hell. At least you know you're better at this game than I am. Above all, I want all of you to believe in yourselves, and give yourselves a big hug, and I want all of you to do your best to everything in life. So, I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I am going to find OBS, and stop this recording. Bye.